Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day here in South Carolina, and I can tell you that I am out in my garden and I am getting ready to put some more seeds in and some more start some things that aren't good, um, for, that aren't frost hardy. I have about three weeks left uh, to last frost. So I have started a lot of seeds back here in my greenhouse. Um, some I'm putting outside today. Some more of my peas are ready to go into the ground. So I'm going to be doing that. I also have a lot of seed starts. I'm going to go ahead and get started. They recommend about three to four weeks before last frost to get them started. Um, and so I'm running a little late. I know, I know, but I'm going to get those going today. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to start today. Um, I'm going to be... Um, showing you how my blackberries are doing that I have uh, started at one end of my garden um, you know I got my potatoes in you know I also got in some sunflower seeds and there are some things that I'm going to go ahead and direct sow today um, and some things that I'm going to just start uh, in the greenhouse my cucumbers are doing amazing I cannot believe it so I'll be putting those out in my huga a good thing I got going back here. I still have to research and find out more about that. But I'm going to show you some of that also. Um, so come along for some fun in the garden today. Hey, there's another really exciting thing that we're doing today that I wanted to tell you about. Coming over here where Ron is working because we have two plum trees that we started from a sapling. We've kept them in the garage all winter. Um, and they are doing amazing. It's time to put them in the ground. What we have over here are a couple apple trees and a couple of pear trees. So now, my sweetie pie yeah. <laughs> Thank you. is getting the space ready to plant the plum trees. We also have two lemon trees that we started that are doing amazing. We're going to put those out. We have two elderberries that we're going to put out. And we have two rows of Sharon trees. They don't bear fruit, but they're beautiful. And they're biblical, and I like them. And my uncle gave those uh, saplings to me. We kept all those in the garage over the winter. And now we're at the point where um, we're gonna go ahead and get the holes dug and get those put in. Cross your fingers. We've never done it before. It's our first time, so we hope we're gonna do everything right. We're doing some research. To check it out so stay with us as we plant those <laughs> he is doing all right babe getting old getting old aren't we all let's hope we do Thank God that taking you here into the garage because we want to show you um, there are the two plums and there's the lemon, looking amazing, but this is where we kept our saplings throughout the winter so we could plant. I hope I can get them out. Can we roll the barrel and kind of squeeze the root a little to get him to come out? Try. Be careful, don't hurt him. Oh, exactly. That was uh, long growing from a twig. Okay guys, so okay, so we're working on our little mini orchard where I've already told you that we have apple trees, pear trees, we have plum trees, we also have pecan, we have walnut. Now we're putting in two more plum trees which we started from a little sapling and we have one successfully put in and we did it, well we read on it and did it the way they said. Now we're expecting a goodly amount of rain over the next five days. So we've kind of left a little gully uh, around it to really get that water down in there. Um, he's off getting the second plum tree, which we're going to plant about six feet away. Then we're going to put in two um, lemons and uh, two, what do you call those things? Elderberries. Okay, we got in... The lemon tree we decided only to plant the one the other one's still a little small so i'm going to go ahead and keep that uh through this summer down by my greenhouse and keep tending to it to see if i can get that to perk up a little bit before i put him in the ground we got the elderberries in which i'm stoked 
we have both of the um, plum trees in so excited about that and now we are going to put in two rows of Sharon trees for the beauty they're beautiful beautiful flowers we intend to keep them pruned down so that they don't grow super tall uh, but short and add beauty to the orchard so uh, we will also be feeding the apple and apples and plum trees so I'm gonna take a break for right now what about you babe for sure <laughs> How was it uh, planting all those uh, trees? Exhausting. Exhausting. But our orchard's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful, huh? Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. So it's going to be worth the hard work. I know, when was the right time to plant a tree 10 years ago? But at least we're planting trees. So everyone, this is what happens when I work my husband too hard. He has to take a break. But let me show you what he accomplished because he definitely deserves that break. This is just uh, the potatoes, the daffodils, and the uh, king tut peas. And right here is another batch that I'm getting ready to plant. Over here I'm going to be starting some new seedlings. And uh, But what I want to show you is over here where we put in uh some more in our little orchard now you're going to see the pots there those are kiwi avocado lemon that are not ready to go in the ground yet but i wanted them to be over here with the rest of their friends and also uh, because of the watering that my husband's got going on here and we have it on a timer so that's going to help tremendously and you can see these are the apple and uh, yeah our apple and pear trees that we have here already but um, here sorry about the finger are the two plum trees this in this pot right here is kiwi these two back here if you can even see them guys I apologize are the rose of Sharon there is the lemon I went ahead and moved my blackberries over here, right there between the two elderberries that I have planted. I know you can't, it doesn't seem like much yet, but it's going to be amazing when it gets done. Okay guys, that's what we got done this morning. Took us a few hours. Um, we did some research and studied how to plant them and the, how to fertilize them and what we should do. Um, before so cross your fingers we've never planted uh, well it's been a long time uh, since we've planted trees um, but we wanted to get a little orchard going and my grandkids absolutely love it so we're excited about that now what I'm gonna do is some work in my garden these here these logs my husband put in last year for me and I planted these exotic looking plants and I have no clue what they are so if you know please let me know um, I got them from my niece I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut down today I didn't know if I could cut them down at the end of the season or not so I let them go but turns out you're supposed to cut them down so I'm gonna do that and get some seedlings going um, and I'll just tune back in real quick later and show you what seedlings I got going um, and what cleanup I did